Hey, this is Dan. Welcome back to Real Men Coupon. And first of all, before I get started, I would like to thank everybody that left a comment on my uh, couponing at Safeway video, or uh, what was this? Safeway couponing for groceries at Safeway, whatever it was. Anyway, thank you guys so much for the response on there. I asked the question and put the question out there to you guys. Would you guys like to see me do matchup videos for Albertsons, Safeway, and Family Dollar? And you guys came through. You guys really did uh, answer a lot of that. And everybody wants to see all three. Had a lot of response and a lot of a lot of comments actually left on that page. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, videos on Friday night or Saturday morning, and it's going to be for Kroger, Safeway. Albertsons and Family Dollar if I can. If I can squeeze them all in, I hope I can. If nothing rips, tears, or breaks, um, or if I get called away at my job. So those are the only criteria that I won't do them on, but for the most part, I will do them on. I'm going to go over a few things uh, with the with the stores. I want you guys to hopefully watch this video first, and then you're going to know when it comes down to your store, if it's an affiliate or not, and kind of what to watch out for. So I'll go ahead and break that down. I'll take you over to my computer and I'll show you all the stuff on there. But once again, you know, thank you guys so much for all the response. Thank you for all the support. And also, I want to bring it up that uh, hopefully everybody goes over and checks out my other two uh, YouTube channels that I have. Uh, having a lot of fun with them. I have Real Men Reviews, which I haven't done a review for a little while. Uh, my daughter did the last one on Ouchless uh, Hair Ties, but they're more for fun. They're just for, you know, for something grins and giggles, as I like to say. And my other ch YouTube channel is actually going to be uh, Real Men How To. Um, some are more serious, some are more fun, but the most, for the most part, they're all fun. They're all just something to do, and hopefully I'll get some information out there, maybe on a little bit of tech stuff, uh, computer stuff, uh, you know, just different things, and then some of it's just for fun. Uh, uh, a lot of it is just to get video of my kids, you know, and I want to have videos, post them up online, post them up on the web, and everybody can kind of enjoy them. And if you get something out of them, great. If not, just, you know, yeah, go watch them anyway. It's all for good fun. So um, let's go ahead and go jump over to the computer, and I'll show you guys a few things uh, to kind of watch out for. I'm going to show you the affiliates for Safeway and for Kroger, and then uh, we'll kind of go over a couple things and a couple things to watch out for there. So let's go ahead and jump over there and take a look at that. We'll see you guys in a few. Okay guys, when I'm talking about my Kroger stores, these are the stores that I'm actually talking about. These are actually all of the Kroger affiliates and these are nationwide. So of course we're going to have the regular Kroger, we're going to have Baker's, and then we got City Market which is actually my local store here is a, is a Kroger affiliate and it's actually called City Market and then we also have King Supers that are, that are near here. They're not actually in my town but they're near here. But City Market is is a local, uh, local version of Kroger's. Now, like I say, these are all affiliates. When I just uh, get really general and and say Kroger, I'm talking about all of these. And like I say, there's more in here. Dylan's, Food for Less, Fries, Gerbs, King Supers, JC, Owens, Payless, Ralph's, uh, their Smiths, QFC, Scott's Food, and Pharmacy. And take a look at here, all their little symbols here of all the different ones up above. And then there's also a few other ones they got. They got Foods Co., they got Fred Meyer, and I don't even know if Fred Meyer uh, sells groceries or not, but I do know that they sell, you know, pretty much it's kind of like more of a general merchandise store. And then they have Highlander. These are all Kroger stores. So when I'm talking about Kroger deals or Kroger matchups, pretty much any one of these. But you got to be careful because it may not be all of them. Some of these, like I know Smith's, uh, is a Utah. It has a lot of stores in Utah of Smith's. They don't necessarily follow the Kroger general sales in all of the stores, but there are a couple of them that do. So you want to be, you know, double check on that and make sure. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is I want to talk about the Safeway affiliates. And when I talk about Safeway, that is actually what it's called here is Safeway. But Safeway does have different names for the same stores. So, of course, we got Safeway, Cars, Dominic's, uh, Ginardi's, uh, Pavilions, Randall's, Tom Thumb, and Vaughn's. So, each one of these are going to be... Uh, Safeway affiliates so when I say Safeway it's going to mean pretty much all of these and I don't know if they carry all the way across the same sales like if I get a Safeway flyer in the mail and I'm going through and I'm looking at all the, the deal matchups I'm going to assume that it's going to match the rest of these uh, the rest of these stores since they are Safeways affiliates so 
but I'm not sure. So, and the reason I'm not sure is because, like I say, I have a Safeway here. I have a city market here. I know that my city market is a Kroger store. I also have Albertsons, and Albertsons is generally just Albertsons, and they're pretty well nationwide. So if you have an Albertsons, and I don't think there's any other affiliates there may be, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. You know, leave me a comment down in the drop box down below, and then we can go from there. And the other one is Family Dollar, which is just Family Dollar. But let's go ahead and jump over now, and I'm going to take a look at a few things to keep in mind. Now, these are thoughts to remember. Always check your store's individual coupon policies. They will be different with the different affiliates. And that we're talking about limits, doubles, printables, etc. Now, some of these, like I say, you want to you want to double check and key in and each one of these stores and about their coupon policy to make sure their coupon policy is the same as other stores. Now, you may have two separate Kroger's or maybe City Markets or Fries or or whatever in your same area. They may have completely different coupon policies. I know all of the stores here, all of my city markets in this low, the, the valley that I live in, all of them are are ran by the same area manager. So they all have the exact same coupon policies for each one of them. But if I drive 50 miles up the road, the city market up there doesn't have that same policy. So you want to make sure on your store is individual coupon policy and, and double check with that. The next thing is, <coughs> excuse me, keep your coupon policy with you. Put it in your binder and keep it updated regularly. And like I say here, stores will change the policy frequently at times. Sometimes they won't update their coupon policy for years. Sometimes they'll update it every couple months. And the thing is, here a while back, um, when extreme couponing became really popular on TLC, most stores actually came out with an updated coupon policy because they had a lot of people who were abusing the system and fraudulently using coupons because of the show. They thought they, you know, if they did it on the show, they could do it, you know, in real life. And you know, all these stores has actually set up uh, coupon policies where they're now limiting different uh, people. They did limited the amount. They limit printables. You know, some stores will only allow two printables. Some of them will not allow a bogo with a bogo. Uh, like if they have a bogo sale on the store and you use a bogo coupon, you get both items for free. Well, there's a lot of stores now that are that are not letting you do that. So get your coupon policy, keep it with you, put it in your binder, and keep it updated. Go back and check on it every month or so, and make sure all of your coupon policies are updated. <coughs> now. This here, most of my stores double up to a dollar, so my videos are going to reflect this. If your store does not double, your savings will be different. Now, I'm saying if they don't double, they may do it what they call a true double. That means if you have a 75 cent off coupon, they may double it all the way up to a dollar fifty. Mine will not do that. If I have a 75 cent off coupon, it'll double up to a dollar. So I will get that. But if I have a 25 cent off coupon, it'll only double up to 50 cents. So I hope that makes sense. The dollar is my limit on my coupons unless it's, you know, specifically like a two or three dollar coupon. So anyway, uh, my videos are going to show my savings. So remember, if your if your store does not double, your savings are not going to be the same as mine. So just keep that in mind when you're watching it and know if your store is double. Go in, ask them, talk to them, get a coupon policy. Find out what their what each store has for their coupon policy as far as doubling coupons. I know like my Albertsons, they only double and sometimes they will triple, but they only do it like once every five or six weeks. Sometimes, you know, every two months they won't do any doubling or tripling. So uh, my Albertsons, I will let you know when my Albertsons doubles or triples and my, my savings are going to reflect that. So keep that in mind. My stores double. Most of them do. Now, the last one here, I honestly don't know if these deals are nationwide or not. You should check your local store's weekly flyers and double check if the deals are valid in your store. I can't guarantee that any of these deals are valid nationwide. I honestly have no way of knowing different regions, different you know owners, different sections, different, you know, all these things have come into play that I really honestly have no idea of, <coughs> excuse me, if, if these deals are nationwide or not. I know that Kroger... They set up a standard where they, they, you know, with all of their affiliates, they want them all to do the same type of sales, but they don't have to. It, let's say if I owned a Dillon's and I wanted to have a different sale than Kroger was putting on, I could put on a different sale. So, like I say, I can't guarantee any of these deals, so don't get mad at me if these deals are not going on in your store or if it's, you know, going on somewhere else. So, just keep that in mind that I, I, I don't know. I honestly don't know, but I'm putting them out there, so hopefully everybody can get an idea of what kind of savings are out there and what kind of savings you can get. I will do the basic matchups, and generally, I will give you matchups of 60% or better. So, but like toothpaste, 
I probably won't even mention it unless it's free. So just keep that in mind because 90% of the time we can get toothbrush paste, toothbrushes, body wash, deodorant. We can get all that stuff for free. So that's about the only time I will mention it. If we can get it for a dollar or whatever for toothpaste, like I say, I'm probably not, probably not even going to put it on my list. And the last thing is here, and I don't have it on my on my list here, but with my videos, um, grab you a pen, grab you a paper, and then you know just click on the video when you want to pause. Just pause it, write down the deal, and write down the coupon. I will let you know what the deal is, what the original price is, and what the coupon is, and how much it's for, and then what your total cost should be. But remember, that's if your your store doubles. Mine are going to reflect that if your store doubles, and that's going to be my final cost. But make sure you grab a pen and a paper. I have a, a database and like a, a few different databases that I get my information from, so I can't really you know print it out or copy and paste it or anything. The the site that I use will not let me do that. So Grab you a pen, grab you a paper, and write them down as I go along. And like I say, just pause the video after each deal, write down what it is, write down what the coupon is, and then you guys are going to be set and you're going to be good to go. These are actually the lists that I go off of, and these are the ones that I do. And I generally get between 60 and 65% savings on all of my grocery shopping. So hopefully you guys will be able to get some of those savings as well. But let's go over these one more time really quick. Always check your store's individual coupon policies. They will be different. So just keep that in mind. They will be different. you got to know what they are. The second one is get that coupon policy coupon policy, and keep it with you. Put it in your binder and keep it updated. That is very, very important. Now, remember, my videos are going to show my, my that my stores double, especially with Kroger and Safeway. Those are my stores that double, and I will show that in my videos with the doubling. So then the last one is, I honestly don't know if they're nationwide or not. Don't hold me liable for anything. I will try my darndest. I just want to help everybody if I can, but I can't guarantee that any of these any of these deals are valid nationwide or not. Check your flyers. Check your local papers. Go in and talk to store managers. Build up a relationship with your cashiers. Know them. Know who they are, and you know figure out which ones are the best ones to go to in line, and somebody that kind of understands coupon and coupon policies. And that comes back up to the coupon policy. You will need it at some point point you will need that coupon policy you will have to argue with somebody and try to teach somebody that how a coupon works and why it you know wording and that it doesn't have to match the picture and all kinds of stuff you will have to have that coupon policy with you at some point it's a guaranteed it's happened for me numerous times but anyway that's it for today guys i hope you watch this video before i uh before i show you any of my matchups and i'll start my matchups this friday either friday night or saturday morning depending on uh, my time schedule and how i am with work but thanks for watching and i will see you guys on my matchup videos coming up really soon have a good one and happy couponing